<laughs> Hi there and welcome to Little Garden on the Prairies. In today's video we are going to be talking about cucamelons and I'm going to be showing you how to start them from seed and grow them all the way to pickles. So I have my grandson Henderson here who is going to help me taste these at the end of the video. But first of all I'm going to show you how to plant these from seed all the way to harvest and I will also show you how I pickle these. So let's watch that first and at the end of the video we will crack these open and give them a taste test. Today I'm going to be planting up some what I like to think of as more of the exotic varieties of cucumbers. We've got the cucamelon which is one that I have failed at miserably so far. They do recommend a cucamelon to be started indoors. Cucamelons require uh, a quite warm environment to get going according to the instructions here. You will find if you do some research on cucamelons, they have a lot of different names such as the mouse melon, the uh, Mexican gherkin, I've seen Mexican watermelon, and they do kind of resemble a tiny little watermelon if you can see that there. They say that they have a kind of a cucumber lime flavor, which sounds good. I think these would be really great just to snack on or to have in salads. My plan is to plant these up in these large, I would say these are like a five inch type container. I want to get just one plant sprouted and growing in each of these containers, keep it in here as long as I can, and then transplant them into containers that will go outside. So you always want to make sure that the soil that you are starting your seeds in is well saturated and moistened. Um, I've, it's not bad, but I should have maybe wet it down a little bit before I put it in these containers. So another method you can do is just to place it in some kind of a container here and add a couple inches of water. Just let these containers sit for 20 minutes or so to soak up as much water as they can. And then once we plant the seeds, we can also do a, a, a good spray over the surface of the soil as well. So my goal is to just have one plant going in each of these containers. So I'm going to do my uh, three seed method just to ensure germination. So we'll start off with the cucamelons. As you can see, they're very tiny. They almost look like a sesame seed to me. So I'm going to just make a hole about a quarter inch deep, not too deep. And I'm going to plant them all fairly close to the center of this container. And once I have germination and they get a little bigger past that two leaf stage, I will remove two of them and just keep the strongest of the three. So that's pretty much it as far as the planting part of this goes. There's nothing too technical about planting your cucumber seeds. I'm going to give each of these a good spritzing on the top. So I expect to see uh, germination here with these cucumbers within seven to 14 days. And this is the cucumelon. I got three sprouting here now, so I'm pretty excited about that. So I will plan to put these in the container with a good trellising system because I believe uh, the cucumelons really are a viney plant. So I'm looking forward to uh, potting this in another month or so. So even though this plant doesn't look that great, I got looking here and we do have some small tiny cucamelon fruits coming here so that's exciting hopefully the bees will come along and help with pollination so here is what the cucamelon plant looks like about mid-july so it is really vining out it's grabbing onto the cage of my lemon cucumber so this here is my cucamelon that i had started indoors from seed i'd screw that and this lemon uh, cucumber also from seed. But I really thought this was fun to grow. There's lots of baby cucumelons on here now. So we've tasted a few of these cucumelons. They have a bit of a kind of a lemony cucumber taste, I think. And I think 
they would make great little pickles. So I'm going to try and see if I can get a, enough to fill a small jar or two and make some cucumber and pickles. Do you want to put it in the bucket? Yeah. Thank you. Find some more. Good job. Gotta really look. And then you find a whole bunch of them. If we can get a jar full, we can maybe make some little baby pickles. Okay, so to make your cucumber melon pickles, uh, the process is basically the same uh, process and recipe you would use for making any kind of basic pickle. So I'm just going to run through the ingredients that um, I'm going to be using here today. So of course we have our cucumber melons. I've sterilized a jar here. I'm only going to be making one jar. And going in there, I'm going to be using some fresh garlic dill and some chopped up green onion i just pulled a few from the garden for supper so i thought i'll just use some of the bits of green onion here to go into the brine as well and the basic brine that i'm going to be doing is going to be a one-to-one -one ratio of vinegar and water and then i'll be adding some sea salt i'm going to add a little turmeric i have just a little bit left here it just gives it a nice color and i have some pickling spices here as well so these kind of things that you put into your basic brine of the, the vinegar and water um, is totally optional. So if you are not a dill person or if you want to have a little more heat in your pickles, you could add some uh, you know, hot peppers. Um, I have a variety of different uh, pickling spices, you know, mustard seed, dill seed, um, celery seed. Those kind of things can also go into your brine as well. So we are ready to get this all put together now. So if you wanted to have like a, an actual recipe of how to put together a brine, I usually do a one, one to one ratio of the vinegar. So one cup of water, one cup of vinegar, uh, one tablespoon of coarse salt or a sea salt, and optional would be one tablespoon of sugar. So cause I'm just doing a small batch here today with only one jar, I think doing one cup of water and vinegar will end up with a lot of brine. Then again, also the brine is something that can be used if you're going to be making other pickles over the next you know month or so, you can make this brine up and any that you don't use in one batch, you can use for another batch. So, But for today, I am just going to do probably just a half a cup of the vinegar and the water. So I'm just using some ground up Himalayan pink sea salt in mine. And a little bit of white sugar. Like I said, I only have a little bit of turmeric left here. I'm just gonna add that in here for a little color. And then I'm just gonna put about a half, half a tablespoon of some pickling spices so while this is just heating up now we can get our jar of cucumber melons ready for the brine so this is my first time ever making cucumber melons and actually growing cucumber melons i've never grown them before i've tasted a few of these just raw out of the garden they got kind of a unique lemony type cucumber taste to them a little bit tart so i'm going to start off by putting half of this clove of garlic and a few sprigs of the dill here in the bottom. Because it's a pretty big jar, I'm gonna kinda split this stuff halfway up. And these are my washed cucumber melons. I'm just gonna fill the jar halfway. And then just add a little bit more dill, some garlic, and a little bit of this green onion. So I'm very excited to see what these taste like. I just think they make such a great size little 
pickle. They also are known as the Mexican sour gherkin. So they do kind of remind me of those little gherkin pickles that you can buy in the store. So I'm hoping these turn out good. Okay, so I have the brine here. Like I say, it's got kind of a nice uh, yellow color to it from the turmeric. And I'm just going to slowly fill this up. So get it just right to the top here and then we're going to try and get some of the, make sure we get all the air bubbles out of here. Just by taking the, the end of a spoon or some kind of a straw or stick you can kind of get all the air bubbles out. Well, that should be good. We've got it completely covered. And I'm just going to let this cool down to room temperature on the counter overnight. And then I'm going to put it in the fridge. And we will be giving these a taste test in the next day or two. Okay. So we are ready to try some of our cucumel and pickles. They're very cute little things. So Henderson has always been very willing to try new things. He's eaten a lot of things out of my garden. Let's see what he thinks of the cucumel, the pickled cucumel. Are they a bit sour? <laughs> Usually you like pickles. Give it a good try. The first bite is kind of tart, hey? Let me try them. I'm going to try taking one right out of the jar and just eating it whole. Okay? Like this. Mmm. Mmm. You can really taste the dill. They're kind of nice because they're kind of crunchy, right? I like them. You get a, the hint of garlic is there as well. There's yours. I think this would be really good with cheese or something. A little hors d'oeuvre pickle. Mmm. Mm, not bad. Yeah. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you've never tried growing cucumelons, I hope you will, and I highly suggest making them into dilly pickles or whatever flavor you prefer. So thank you for watching my video. Uh, if you'd like to leave a comment, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos coming to my channel. Thanks for watching. Yeah, another one? I don't know. I better cut it in half for you, okay? Mm -mm. I don't want you to choke on it. Thank you.